games, isn't there? There's just there's something about it. Maybe it's the lag. I don't know, but it's just it's just somehow cool. It's exciting. Yeah, it's Alive. happening now. It's got it's got something. It's, it's very romantic. Yeah. We're in the same game as these players. We might have a little bit of lag. I'm not sure. I see t see two green bars, which is slightly concerning. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. I see all um, red bars on non. Why do we have Slayer's boxer in our game? Should I ban him? That's just how prestigious our tournament is, man. All right, I'm gonna boxer, I'm gonna check him out. Thing. I'm gonna check him out. Oh no. god. Elegant just banned Boxer, guys. <laughs> Elegant has banned Boxer. Hey, I almost beat him early on in the tournament. Alright, let's do this. Are we ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Alright, I'm oh, gonna let you do the, the shouting out briefly because. Um, frankly, all my shopping arrived during the last cast and I got to put it in the nice, freezer. Nice, nice. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, at the left side as the teal Terran, we do have Sass Non. And that means at the bottom right, as the white Zerg, we will have IFU Eon Zerg. Uh, and we are in Tower Cross. And I believe this is a best of three third place match. And of course, the finals will be a best of five. Oh, four. Get the uh, races correct here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, excellent. So finally, I get to use my little score thingy um, <laughs> on my overlay, and man, hour-long game done. Now we can now we can watch the ZVT series. So again, yes, this will be a best of three. We'll be casting this live, and then the finals, hopefully we'll cast it live as well. I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, or, I don't know. I, I don't know. We might do it from both places. I don't even know who's in the finals. But uh, but for now, we have Eon Zerg versus Nong. And it looks like SCV Buddy is going to head to the top right, which is unfortunately... No bueno. <clears throat> and are they going to see each other? Uh, I think that was very close, actually. Okay, no, they did see each other. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure the SCV, with at least the Trails of Vision, uh, would have seen it. Notice notice how the SCV, you see, uh, minimap doesn't update automatically, so there's a Trail of Vision you leave behind. The Fog of War only updates periodically. So you can see there's a, there's like a Trail of Vision that you leave. You can see it on the minimap a little bit as well. And that's, uh, so he definitely would have seen it with that. <coughs> Alright, I am back, I am back. I'm, nice, I'm, I'm on nice. Case. Gross recent been acquired? Oh yeah, well, well, all the ones that need to go in the fridge are now in the fridge. The rest of them can just sit there until <laughs> my girlfriend gets over until the cast ends, one or the other. Excellent. I guess we'll just have to see. Excellent. Um, but yeah, okay, so ooh, we got a little bit of gas steal happening from uh, from Mr. Non right there. That's super annoying. <laughs> I'm getting messages from this Slayer's Boxer fellow claiming he wanted to cast. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, but it looks like, oh, the SCV actually might go down. He's trying to trick it out. Might just get away from the range of the drone. Very, very tight stuff right there. Managing, I don't know if it, oh! oh! Boom. Eventually uh, getting taken down. And the refinery is going to get taken down too. Did he cancel that refinery? I don't that know if he cancelled it. That was very close. I'm not sure, actually. He doesn't that have many was... minerals in the bank, so I don't know. Well, it's, oh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That was remarkably close. Very, very close. We've got a second barracks coming up now as well. Uh, and gas going down for Miss Terran Academy happening too. Um, so. Oh, yeah. God, it's the Steve Man. Help. What? Bow down, guys. No. Really? Wait, 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 wait. He changed his message. Did he? He's got to keep it fresh. Actually, wait, I didn't pay attention to his message before, so I'm not sure. Whoa, we have a gas. Oh, whoa, we have 2 gas. Yeah, whoa, we do. Oh, hello. Yeah, we do. We've got 2 gas. We've got the academy uh, nearly done right now, so it's going to be some... Uh, wait. Did Eon? Eon Zerg saw the SCV and he still went the wrong way? Yeah. <laughs> I don't quite understand that. That's interesting. Very, very strange. Yeah, oh, well. just the wrong way with every single one of his Zergnings, so he must have been sure that the Nom was in the top right hand corner. Very odd. Don't quite understand that. Sorry, go on. Uh, well, we have a Comsat already. That's a very early Comsat. Even when players go 2 racks a cat, I don't think you get the Comsat that early. I mean, to be fair, it's not that expensive, so 
you could get it, but it, it doesn't do that much for you because I mean, let, okay, let's say let's say this comps out finishes now, right? And he scans the Zerg Bays. I mean, what what are you looking for? I mean, I guess you can differentiate potentially between a two hatch and a three hatch build, but that's yeah. that's effectively all you're gonna see. Okay, yeah, sure, he's getting a lair, but that I mean, I I don't know any situation where he wouldn't really be getting a lair at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, slightly strange. I'm not quite sure. Let's have a. Well, anyway, it looks like we are going to see a push right here coming out from from non. Nice early push. Eon Zerg not going to be too prepared against this, but he's going to see that with uh, with, with one of his Zerglings going up towards uh, towards the Terran main. So hopefully that's going to give him enough time to throw down another colony, which I feel like he's really going to need. One colony is definitely not going to be enough to deal with that. Yeah, there we go. Another creep colony happening just as soon as possible, and he's only going to go for one. Maybe slightly edgy with only two. What do you reckon? Uh, I think. Well, I, I think if he just makes a round of blings now, he should be fine. Oh, he is actually making a third one. People in the chat, by the way, are noting that he should have saved the comps energy. I completely agree with that, but as we saw, he actually just scanned them in, which means, uh, which I which I don't think is a good idea. If he had saved that, I'd be like, okay, well, that's sort of makes some sense. Oh, oh no, he's gonna take two free shots on the, oh no! He oh. loses the fire bat for free. Well, that's okay, definitely yeah, the end of that attack. Yeah, the creep colony they just uh, cancelling right up. Staying as a creep colony, not going to be made into a noble sunken. Uh, yeah, because without that fire bat, these zerglings just don't melt in that satisfying way which they need to. We do have some more coming out, so maybe he will be able to do to do something more uh, against the only two sunkens. And interestingly enough, as well, all those zerglings uh, making their way around a different way of the map. And Eon Zerg uh, does pick up on this. He knows that there are more Terran units on the way, so he is making extra sunken colonies as well, just to be safe back at home. Because sunken colonies are really not too expensive uh, for what they are. Oh man, we could see an epic backstab here by the Zerglings. The Marine Force, though, could just go for the huge stack. That could be, actually be really interesting, because if the Zerglings aren't here to support the Sunkens, the Marine Force might actually work. But no, the Marines are moving back. There's actually a fourth Sunken there, because Eon Zerg knows uh, that that's a possibility uh, when going for this counterattack. And here we go, running in. There's only three Marines here. Could grab those easy. No, it looks like Eon Zerg actually went back a little bit. Now he realizes he could have gone for this, but actually, without speed, uh, <laughs> he lost uh, an extra couple of Zerglings. And actually, he's gonna get yeah. three, four Marines-ish before, uh, before getting cleaned up. I mean, is speed... Okay, looks like speed finally finished now, so he's gonna run into the main. Yeah, quite nice micro there from Non in order to delay, but oh, look at this. Getting into the main, and he might be able to take out some missile terrorists right here. Taking down one, nice. maybe he's gonna be able to take down a second. Probably, well, definitely not a third at this point. The Marines are now gonna make it back. Gonna be able to deal with the with the link threat. But Mutas are still a little way away, so he does have time uh, to to remake that missile turret and get himself back in shape. They're morphing elegant. I think that I count six eggs right now. I'm pres assuming they're all Mutas. Seven eggs, actually. Uh, no, one of them was an overlord. The rest have got to be muted. They're taking a really, really long time. Uh, there's yeah. only one guy on the gas now for non. He doesn't particularly need that much gas anyway. And he's in such a funny position because his two racks of cat did effectively nothing. So compared yeah. to where like he should have been if going one rack CC, he's, uh, the Zerg is in the exact same position as if he'd gone one rack CC, but he's not. Like, <laughs> he's obviously way behind. He's yeah. kind of bad all around. Oh, one thing's get... somehow still alive. I have no idea how that happened. He needs to get a really big catch on these mutas if he's going to be able to get himself back into this. But the mutas coming in there, the marines getting a little bit caught up in the mineral line. Nice quick repair there on the missile turret, enabling to last a little bit longer. The mutas are finally going to be pushed back, uh, and the marines are now in a much better position. He does have a good marine count, so he is able to, to take care of those mutas, but he isn't able to get really anywhere else. He's just sort of stuck in his main defending uh, for the time being. Yeah, that's uh, not very optimal. <laughs> for no. a Terran player, but I mean, he's not out of it yet, you know, the Mutas didn't do that much damage, he's got a nice defensive position, he just, he just needs to figure out how to go out to his natural right, he's got the SCV there, he's actually got the turrets there, he's got a random SCV hitting to the top right, maybe just gonna make a hidden expansion, just like screw it, screw the natural, but these yeah. two turrets up here are undefended, they're gonna get picked off very, very easily, the Marine's actually gonna grab one Muta, maybe not quite for free, that would've been a really nice pick off, but he does have a pretty significant force here, so he can't start pushing out. Yeah, that that position that positioning was really what he needed. Those missile turrets did buy him the time to get out of that awkward choke point where he might otherwise be picked to pieces. Uh, the mutas now do have a nice position over the cliff, though. Oh, but taking a lot of hits and losing one mutas straight away uh, for the sake of only two marine kills. And the marines have now got a good enough position, I think, to see those mutas off without taking too much damage. Mutas taking a lot of hits. Another mutas going down, and maybe another one right here as well if they have to try and escape. 
uh, managing to grab another uh, a fire bat right there as well. But the muters uh, are losing a fair, fair amount of their of their number and should probably do well to pull back at this point. And this, of course, leaves non free to make his natural expansion as soon as he wishes. But he's showing no real immediate desire in that direction. Instead, going for a starport. And interestingly, we have the third base of the Zerg planted at this open expo instead of at another main. So uh, I guess Eons are just confident in the amount of pressure he's putting on to keep that safe. But as we can see, it's not enough because the Marine Force is moving out. The Muta is trying to engage on the open field, but open fields are generally the best place for Marines to fight against Mutas where you can just run directly under them, stim and run under them, and get the maximum amount of shots off. Uh, looks like the Evo Chamber now done. Do we have any Lurkers just now finishing? Yes, the two Lurkers have finished, so I think... That'll be the end. The question is, how many scans are saved up, and will he just get owned by stop lurkers? Ooh, another muta dying. Yeah, I, th I think I think another muta did go down. Um, he he does have a decent position to come out and, and have a little bit of a crack at this third base for this uh, of the zergs. It's not all that well defended. Those those uh, lurkers possibly not in the right place. Although he does seem to going around to that ramp in order to meet the lurkers. I don't think he'd be. Oh my god! If these are whole lurkers, they could annihilate this army. Oh no, he does lay down a scan, Wait. very very sensible. Oh nice. Just, I didn't even see the scan. Yeah, just perfect. Um, not worth taking any chances and he does oh, almost manage to dash in uh, and catch one of those lurkers but not quite. And now will he be able to have enough force to hold on? It looks like there are going to be enough lurkers in there and he's going to be able to easily deal with the marine force. Completely demolished. Very, very, very bad times for Nono right there. He now has very little in order to defend his natural expansion. One tank and a handful of marines only. Um, and then we could see some more nasty muta harass coming into the natural. That was a very curious split he did there at the lurker thing. I think it would have been much better for him to just run back to the ramp and just avoid the lurkers altogether. But I think he tried to do like a fancy anti-lurker split and just got completely demolished. Um, so a bit unfortunate there. In the meantime, Hive is on the way. And what other infrastructure do we have? I guess the first vessel is coming out. Wow, the third barracks only just now being added. That just shows how far behind he is on the infrastructure. Wow, very few SEVs in the main as well. It was definitely not keeping up with the SEV production. Yeah, not at all. He's, um, yeah, his economy is really not in good shape in the least. And not only because of his, uh, his low SEV count, but also because of his super late natural expansion. I mean, that is crazy late, especially given the way the Zerg's infrastructure is now building up. And those mutes have got a nice position as well over the uh, over the starport. Oh. If they can keep that position... Oh, oh. Whoa! He's committing too hard! He's committing too hard! He's gonna lose so many mutas! Oh my god! Overcommitting, baited by the science facility and not actually getting it down in the end. Man, that was a massive overcommitment right there. I mean, the science facility is important. It's not like immediate game winning important, which you'd have thought it was to see the way he was going at it with his mutes right there. Big, big mistake from uh, from Eon Zerg to lose so many of them because they're really a, a pretty major part of his army, even still. Uh, he does have a decent number of lurkers and links, but really not that big of an army so maybe that just gives not a little bit of a way back into the game with uh with a decent uh marine and tank force right here on the map indeed but the defiler mound is on the way and that's going to be bad news bears for a terran player oh my god but before that though the local thing army is coming in and the mute is helping as well there's two tanks and a science vessel but just not enough marines here he's going to pull back out of range of most of the lurkers that's exactly what he wants he actually takes down all the links and in fact it looks like due to nice positioning from the terran player a nice retreat and re-engage although no the re-engage is going poorly the re-engage oh but he's doing the boxer Oh, he did the boxer. <laughs> it took one, it tanked one shot. One single shot right at the end there. But I guess it was kind of worth it because it, it looked cool in the end. But uh, Eon Zerg is still not in any significant danger because uh, he basically managed to take down the whole army of non. So not going to have to regroup a little bit before he can get any, any movement out on the map. And Eon Zerg, again, has managed to pop out another fairly decent army pretty quickly as well. So um, they're basically back to, to right where they were. So now with, with no mutants on the map, which I guess is sort of a bonus for non, uh, he's looking to get his third base up and running as well. Indeed he is. Moving down though towards the Zerg's third, which again is in this open wide area. No lurkers on the ramp this time, um, although they would just get siege down. This is kind of a small force, but again, in order to flank this, the Zerg would have to kind of go around the long way on the uh, on the wide bridge. So this is uh, an okay position. Oh, leading with a couple of irradiates. No defilers yet to irradiate. Oh, he's gonna, excuse me, he's gonna lose a vessel first though, uh, which is not ideal, but at least keeps the one vessel and just like sieging down the sunken. The sunken, of course, mainly there just to buy some time and it looks like um the first defiler is out i don't know if it has consumed yet i don't think so 
but it would take way too long for the Terran army to get across anyway. You can see uh, really needs to move a little bit faster if he wants to do something. Consume is finished now, and that's going to be the end of the attack, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. As the big Zerg force pushes forward, it's going to have to be a very effective pullback for Non not to lose too many of his forces. But I don't think there's any way he can pull back without losing all of his tanks at this point. They're just still sieged. And here we go, attacking under Dark Swarm, uh, losing all but one of his siege tanks. And that one may still go down yet. Uh, trying to hold some kind of position, but it's really only a matter of time before he gets pushed away from there as well. Eon Zerg still in no significant danger as he hasn't been all game. He's just been completely unthreatened the whole time. Uh, still no uh, no third base either for, for none. That SUV has been looking sort of with intention for quite a while, but never actually doing anything. Now needing to unseed to pull back the final siege tank. Oh, but it goes down first. Yeah, looks like he actually made a big round of fire bats there as well. And Eon Zerg took a hidden base at the top right. This actually... Uh... I mean, I quite like when Zergs do this, especially in ZBT, because, you know, you can very easily connect your bases with the Ninus Canal anyway. So even though, like, it is far away, actually, with the help of the Ninus Canal, it's, it's you know, super easy to defend uh, and reinforce that base. And it looks like, uh, actually, the main army moving up the right side here. Not sure exactly where he's going to go. Perhaps Yanzerg expecting there to be a base here at the 12 o'clock. Uh, the Elegant pointed out uh, earlier. Um, so just going to go and deny that if it's there. But it's actually only just started, and this yeah. army from Yanzerg could actually end the game. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Non has just never been able to make any of these engagements pay off. We can see he's now moving out again with a fairly small, fairly concentrated army, quite a lot of fire bats. Uh, clearly quite worried about the Zergling onslaught and as well he might be. Excuse me, but Eon Zerg, not too bothered about that. He's just going to go and take out this, uh, this third base attempt and he's not going to have too much trouble doing it. Non, I would expect he's going to have to pull back. No, it looks like Non's just going to keep going ahead. Don't know quite what he's going to be able to achieve with this. Maybe he has uh, he has the aim of taking out the third base from Eon Zerg and he might just actually manage to do that. But Eon Zerg does have another base already up in the top right hand corner, which is mining at this point. He's got a nice now there as well, so it's nice and safe. Uh, and at this point, Eon Zerg could just push all the way right into Non's natural expansion with the Dark Swarm if he so with him. But the counter-attack at the third base with a lot of fire bats. There's a scan for absolutely no reason because there's two science, three science vessels there. And it looks like the Terran army is gonna get cleaned up. There's a D-Matrix. I don't... Actually, wait! Wait a minute, hold that thought. Maybe I spoke too soon. The drones are coming out to fight. There's the lurkers in the natural expansion. The third base is gonna fall for the Zerg, but the natural is under fire. And that is a butt-ton of lurkers. That is so many lurkers, there's, there's just no way Non is going to be able to produce enough units to do anything about that. Down they go, and these fire bats are going to be very easily cleared up. They need to almost grab themselves one lurker, but to no avail. Uh, and yeah, pretty convincing stuff right here for Eon. So third base is down, but it doesn't matter. He's got a replacement up in the top right hand corner. Um, and Non's going to keep trying to do some kind of push, but with no siege tank, it's going to be completely fruitless. Lurkers trying to run in here. They're all up in the barracks. They're all up in his grill. The fire bats actually do kill one of these. The lurkers now burrowing on top of the siege tank. They're on the SCVs. The SCVs are fighting. Nan does not want to give this up. But SCVs don't do that well against lurkers, I'm afraid. <laughs> does he know it's best to three? I don't this, know. Oh my god, where the, the SCVs are running to the top right. What the hell? Has he scouted it? He must have scouted it. <laughs> he must, he must be going like, like a massive attack. He's gonna build hidden supply depots everywhere. Yeah. What the... Oh my god, the SCV train. They're like, oh my god, there's Zerglings here too. <laughs> Run away. This is uh, comedic. I, I don't know, Non is just completely buggered at this point. He's got no SCVs left. Uh, <laughs> sort of has an army, I guess, an army of SCVs. Um, this game, yeah. man. The SCV train's gonna win it. Non somehow. Oh no, there's a lurker in the SCV off. train! Oh. He, he forgot to borrow. Doesn't care. Just doesn't care. The SCV's from around past it. Here come the Marines. They're going for their final desperate last stand. The lurkers burrow down. The Marines. Birdies actually not lose any Marines right there. Quite, quite nice timing uh, from Non to pull back. We still don't have any Irradiate. Finally! An Irradiate goes down at long last. Yes, indeed. One Irradiate on a pack of six lurkers, and the Defiler's now coming down from below is uh, gonna be bad times for our Terran player. And looks like, where are we going? Got the files down here. He's still trying to poke a bit with his Marines. Can't really yeah. do much. Uh, and there's another big, <laughs> big lots of Zerglings and Defilers coming um, from the underneath as well. He's about to get totally sandwiched in an absolutely horrible position. Here he goes. He's going to try and break the look line. Doing not too bad of a job of it either. But here come the reinforcing Zerglings. GG. GG.
Beyondzerg takes game number one. Bang. Pretty nice convincing stuff right there from Eonzerg. Non's build just really didn't pay off at all uh, in, in the early stage of the game. He was at a massive disadvantage yeah. right from the very beginning. What is the next map so I can host it up? Uh, I have no idea. It may be up to, uh, up to Non. I think it's loser picks. I don't even okay. know what channel they're in. But, they're, uh, right, they're right here. Are you in Off Team Liquid or something? I'm in Op Legacy. Ooh. Where all the action is. Ooh. Man, you'd know that if you played. Mm. I would, I would. When are you going to play? But if, but if we both play, then who would host the cast? That's true. Someone else would have to hold the fort. <clears throat> or, we... or are you so confident that I'll lose in the first game that it'll be fine? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, well, oh, I was, no I was... comment. No comment. <laughs> Save my pride, elegant. I... <laughs> oh, God. I was just trying to avoid saying that that was what I thought would definitely happen to me. Um, <laughs> yeah, which it didn't. So I guess anything can actually happen. In the end, um, we still have nice. this guy asking if he can join the cast. 